you can change the alignment to the left or right with format specifiers. Here in this example, we're using our format specifiers as we did before. Um, to align things to the right, we have a positive value. And this time we're combining both uh, you know, the alignment and the number of places or precision uh, as to the left and right of the decimal using our format specifier. So 20 places here, aligning them to the right, and to the left of the decimal, there will be zero places to display. That's the first example. The second example here, this is how we would use more than one variable. Um, we could simply index it, so percent one, and then the dollar sign, percent two, and then the dollar sign. This would be the format specifier for this variable, and this would be the format specifier for this variable. And we could just keep continuing on and just indexing, our, you know, and incrementing by one. So one, two, three, four, and however many variables we wanted to specify. Now while up here, these values were positive, and so they aligned to the right, in this example down here, these values are negative, and so they will align to the left, okay? And then finally down here, we have an example with strings, four strings, and the format specifier is going to be S instead of D or F, but the syntax and the arguments are pretty much the same. So let's compile and run this, and we'll take a look at it. And I'll try to scroll down and show you the code as we go through it. So the very first time through here, these are positive values. And we're going to have, you know, they'll be aligned to the right. And we'll have nothing, um, you know, 20 spaces to the left and, and nothing to the right of the number. So this aligns everything to the right. And let me scroll up here. And this is the first example here. So you can see how everything lines up to the right. And our second example here, over here in the code, is where we're using two format specifiers. This is indexed as one, um, percent one dollar symbol, and then percent two dollar symbol in indexed as two. So this is the format specifier for this variable, and this is the format specifier for this variable. And this is what it looks like, two together now. And again, they're positive values. So they're both, in this case, aligned um, to the right. In the next example, we're aligning things to the left. And if you look here, the way to do that is we're going to give these negative values. So to the left of the decimal, if I specify a negative 20, that's going to have the overall effect of uh, you know, aligning things to the left. And again, zero places to the right of the number. And our last example, supercalifragilistic. If you come down here, we scroll over, we have four strings, one, two, three, and four. And let's go down here. Here we're using printf. Now we've used um, percent %d and percent %f for integers and doubles and floats. This is a new one, percent %s, and that is for string formatting, string data. And again, we're just you know moving these guys 30 places over to the right. So they're positive values. Um, if we wanted to move them to the left, we could specify negative values. So if I were to plug these in, let me rebuild the project, and we'll run it. And now here's our super califragilistic align to the left. So just um, you know, different ways of controlling the formatting and the precision of variables in Java. Review. By default, Java will display large numbers utilizing scientific notation. Example, 3.0E8 means a 3 with 8 zeros after it before the decimal point. You can override Java's default level of precision by using the printf method. The printf function uses format specifiers to format precision and field values. A percent symbol prefixes a format specifier. Some of printf's format specifiers are percent %d for an integer, percent %f for a float or double, and percent %s for a string. You specify the amount of precision to the left and right of the decimal. Use positive values to align to the right. Use negative values to align to the left.
keep to find you. Your choice is simple. Join us and live in peace or pursue your present course and face obliteration. All right, all right. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's to see a penguin cry. Me neither. You ready then? Hand up, son. You're falling all over yourself. This earth of yours will be reduced to a burned out cinder. It's already dead. Oh, you're down and down again. You gotta learn to you gotta learn to stand on your own feet, boy. I may not always be around to help you. We shall be waiting for your answer. The decision rests with you.